If anyone will ever tell you that video games are violent anymore, shove this game up their faces. This game is actually proof that video games cause violence is actual BS. And yes, as you guessed from the title, we're going to be talking about Stardew Valley. So let's start with a very common misconception about this game before we're gonna actually discuss whether it, this game is actually worth it or not. So common misconception about this game is that it is a farming simulator, which is completely wrong. This game is not farming simulator. Well, it is a farming simulator as well as a bunch of other things, but it's not just a farming simulator. It's more correct to call this game a life simulator than a farming simulator, and it's basically closer to Sims than, well, farming simulator. To explain this game very simply, let's just explain the plot of this game. You are a guy or a girl who works for a giant corporation on a corporate job. And during one night, your grandpa decided to give you a letter with the deed to the farm somewhere in a rural area. And well, because you're fed up with this corporate life, you decided to say, screw this and just go and live on a farm. So now you arrive on a farm and you basically start living there. First, you need to clamp the land, then just find some crops, grow some very rudimentary plants and... That's it at the first sight. But then you go to the town itself and you start meeting a bunch of different people. There are around 30 NPCs in the Pelican Town. And as you go, you realize that this game is not just about farming. Farming is literally just a job that you get there where you make money from and everything else is just literal game. So we just go and meet this bunch of other people, every single one of them with their own distinct personality, with their own distinct place of living, meaning that they all have their own houses, their distinct relations, their jobs, their wishes, their hobbies and everything like that. All each, each and every one of them have their own birthdays and basically you start living in this town. So as you play the game, there will literal time passes in the game world. So you wake up in the morning, whether you want to do farming or not, you can just do a farming or go around until you are tired or it's basically a night time when you need to go to sleep. And as you go to the game, you also discover a bunch of additional things. Like this, you discover a bunch of problems that city has, like a ruined community center that you can help to rebuild, or you can find a mines which is infested with monsters. Well, it's more like a blobs running around that you can clean up and fight. And basically it's like mini dungeons there. You can also find a fishing game and discover a bunch of different fish. And as the, and as the time progresses, the city has different holidays days where people are gathering up you can interact with the people there and uh, also people have different birthdays where you gather up and just celebrate different people's birthdays and the seasons change and during different seasons you have a different crops and you can grow these crops to sell them and make money you also play a big role in basically rebuilding the town and its infrastructure like bridges roads and bunch and bunch of uh, different small things that basically blossoms the game in front of your eyes. At first sight, you might not think that this game is something like that, and you might not think that you might like things like that, but the game's charm and game's beauty and game's simplicity is such appealing, is such a beautiful sight that you will basically fall in love with the game even if you have a heart of stone. Yes, the game is that interesting as you go as you go forwards with your life in the game you discover a bunch of different small secrets and you continue helping with the town and you continue improving relationships and you can even marry one of the villagers and you can even have a kids with them or with him or her and all this in this beautiful 8-bit-ish kind of aesthetics which allow this game to run basically on anything. And I mean anything. If your computer has a desktop, it can run this game. It is available on PCs, on consoles, and even on mobiles. Even though mobile version is actually a bit outdated compared to PC and console version. So what then? You discover a bunch of different things and, and so what? And the reality is that the game actually does not really end. You go and you continue game as a months pass seasons pass years pass and you improve you make your farm better and better you improve your relationships with, with, with villagers and you you will play this game for at least three in-game years which is not that long each season is around 30 days and we have, we have four seasons but after three years is basically a soft end to the game and even better the game is actually getting a bunch of updates and you can also have a bunch of different farms as well not just one farm with all their own distinct difficulties and distinct challenges and all of this makes this game incredibly incredibly 
beautiful and amazing experience to play. I often play this game when I'm stressed out because it is such a relaxing experience because you don't have to rush anything, you don't have to min-max anything. Everything is just there and you're taking care of your farm, you're taking care of different people, you just interact and talk with people. And because the game doesn't even have a voice acting, it's just text. It's, it's just text and dialogue choice. It's just very charming and basically you are imprinting personalities on the different people yourself. Each and every individual uh, in each and every villager will be different and will mean different to a different gamer. And this game is simply an epitome of what gaming really is. And it's all about the feelings and emotions that game can cause that no other medium can actually really give to you. So yeah, this game is actually something beautiful that every single one of you need to experience. Judging on the number of reviews and number of players on Steam, yeah, most likely a lot of you have already experienced it. So what about the pricing? So this is what you're here for, whether it's worth it or not. The game is sold on Steam for the full price of $14.99 for tier 1 and for the full price of $9.99 for tier 2 and can go as low as $7.49 for tier 1 and $4.99 for tier 2. And doesn't matter for the discount or for the full price, this game is absolutely worth it because this game will not get old, especially with the bunch of updates that this game receives all the time. Oh yeah, and did I tell you that this game was actually made by one person. Yes, one guy actually made this game. It's it's simply insane. Game is actually evolving and it doesn't it, it even has a multiplayer that you, and you can play with a bunch of friends, which is an amazing additional thing that you can do with this game. As I said, it's also available on mobiles. However, it's it's around 4.99 on mobile, it's 3.99 to 4.99 depending on the region. But again, the version on mobile is actually older than the versions on PC on console. So just know that. It's not much older, but yeah, it's still older. Oh, it's also available on Game Pass. So if you have a Game Pass, you're basically getting this game for free. Well, technically it's not for free, but yeah, if you already have a Game Pass, then yeah, it's free. So overall answer whether this game is worth it or not, the answer is absolutely yes. Whether you like such games or not, you need to play this game. This is basically a must play game for every single gamer that plays anything ever. This is a basically a check, check mark that every gamer should have. This is one of the few games that are must play and must experience. It's that good. And it's a game that you should actually experience. And, and by the amount of gameplay that you can get from this game, yeah, it's actually absolutely worth it, even for the full price. I would not even wait for sale. So unless you're not sure whether you like this game or not, then of course, wait for the sale and get the game for sale. But yeah, I can absolutely tell you that you will enjoy this game one way or another. Uh, well, this should be it for today. This was a bit different type of game that I, compared to what I usually play, but yeah, I still enjoyed it. I actually played this a while ago and I actually just replayed it just a few weeks ago and I simply enjoyed it uh, every second of it. Well, like the video if you liked it, subscribe for more videos like this one let me know in the comments down below what game do you want me to review and i'm gonna see you in the next one see ya